Hey, how's it going? Jossie here. Welcome to part two of my ultimate this priest RPG guide. In the first part, we covered how to set up your character or how to optimize your builds. So now that your character is perfect, okay, in this part, we're going to be talking about how to set up your add-ons and UI. Now, just as a quick FI before we begin, um, everything is going to be in the comments below, the links to all the add-ons and all the export strings. So check that out after the video and um, get yourself set up with those. Um, so add-ons and UI uh, actually are extremely important for RPGs. Okay, there are huge, huge benefits, um, like very tangible benefits that you can get from setting up your UI and add-ons properly, um, especially as a healer. Like as a healer, without the right um, add-ons, there's just no way you can effectively heal 10 players and do all the things that you need to do in an RPG. And the other part is, of course, for RPGs themselves, uh, being subjective focused, like there are add-ons that give you information about the objectives that you really, really need to have um, in order to actually play properly. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how exactly to set up your UI in order to heal effectively in RPGs and also play objectives properly. Okay, so... The most important part of your add-ons is your raid frames, okay? So I use grid 2 for my raid frames. I'm going to have my profile for export in the comments, of course, like I said. So you need to make sure that you get raid frames where you can very quickly see who you have atonement on. Okay, that's the most important thing. So watch. I put a shield on this guy, and the thing, the entire thing glows green. And I know this bar here shows me how long the atonement lasts for, okay? So it's really, really important to know which one's going to expire, who you have it on, and if you have it up on someone who's taking damage. It's also really important to be able to see things like uh, defensives and buffs and debuffs that you have on. In particular, you want to be able to see if there's something you can dispel. For example, this Roots here. You need to make sure it pops up really, really big on your frame so that the moment it happens to one of your teammates, you're able to dispel it right away. Because um, that's one of the most important parts of, of healing RPGs. And of course, obviously, from a quick glance, you need to be able to see, you know, who's low, who needs healing. Yeah, basically, you just, without good raid frames, you don't know who needs to be healed, you don't know who needs to be dispelled, uh, who's in, like, defensive, who's in CC. And without that, there's just no way you, you heal effectively. The next big important add-on is nameplates, okay? And specifically, I mean enemy nameplates. Uh, not your allies, those aren't as important. But basically, for enemy nameplates, um, I use threat plates and the way I have mine set up is it shows all the buffs that you've applied so like Persia Wicked it's really important to see who you have Persia Wicked on and of course it shows the spellable things glowing so if they turn on like Dark Soul or um, uh, Power Infusion you can you can see it right away and purge it off it's a big glowing box and of course you see things like CC and everything basically from a quick glance at your screen and your enemies you can see exactly who you need to you know for example apply Persia Wicked on like there you go, these guys have purged the wicked. They're being slowed by chilling touch, or this guy needs to be dispelled. Uh, this is also a purgeable buff here. So it's like really, really quickly you can see what you need to do and see information about the field, such as like who you can ignore because of CCs or anything like that. It's my spear, there you go. You don't have to hit him, for example. Um, extremely, extremely important. Alright, and next we have an add on called Big Debuffs. So what Big Debuffs does is here, this big block over here. And it shows you, it's already pre-programmed to show you the most important things about the enemy. So for example, right now he has double tap active, so next, there you go, he has turtle. So like, on a really big block next to their nameplate, um, it's not built into the nameplate add-on, you have to get big debuff separately. But it shows you what the most important skill is. Uh, right now they're being stunned. And basically, it's really important to see things like defensive cooldowns, like paint suppress, um, or big damage like avenging wrath. And with big debuffs, you're able to like really quickly react to what's the most important thing to go on and you know what you actually need to pay attention to what's important and the last thing i want to talk about uh not as important as the first three the first three are mandatory this one i would say is my personal preference but it's this weak aura set here um uh, this is made by luxdos um and basically it shows you a really nice concise setup of your cooldowns and things that are important so you have your bars here obviously right everyone has their action bars but there's so many icons here and a lot of them are not that useful right and this shows you really quickly like you have your mana you have your radiance charges yeah you, you know your big cooldowns and your like short cooldowns and your core abilities and really from a quick glance you can kind of get an idea of 
what you have ready and what you're gonna use next. Like pendants, you always want to use pendants off cooldown. So you just you know watch this for when it glows. Now the nice thing is, for example, you use a defensive, and it pops up here showing you how long left is on cooldown. And if it's not here, then you know you have the defensive ready. So it's very very space efficient. It's designed very very nicely. It looks nice and. Basically, with this one week aura, I never look at any of my bars ever. This is just the one thing I look at. It's like very, very, um, you know, base saving. Okay, next, let's look at some RPG objective add ons, okay? So, um, there are a couple of really important ones I have on my screen here. First, most importantly, I would say is Battleground Enemies. So, it's this set of nameplates here. And what Battleground Enemy does is basically, it's like nameplates, but for enemies, of course, it shows you, you know, who they are, what spec they are. Um, I've configured mine so that it shows people who are in range and those who are not. So, like, from a quick glance, I can look over and see, like, oh, there's four people here uh, or, you know, however many people. And I know if I should react accordingly. Another really nice part about its add-on is it shows you their trinket, of course, uh, their DRs, which... I only show up when you're nearby them, but it also shows you how many people are targeting each player. Okay, and this is really important because you see someone with like you know four people targeting them, then you know this is who the kill target, right? Uh, it's it's almost better than a target color. <laughs> Just having this add on, um, it's really really important. It's also important as a target color yourself if you want to see people are actually targeting a target you're going for or not. Um, and having this target number here lets you you know secure kills basically, especially if you don't have good communication. All right, next item I want to talk about is uh, capping. So capping is this little block here. And basically, it shows you important information um, and timers for all the different battlegrounds. In Arathi Basin, for example, it shows you what the final score is going to be and how long it takes to get there. Right? So because we have four bases and they have one, we get a lot more points than them. And the final score, you see here, it's not reached it yet. But in 40 seconds, it's going to be 1500 Horde Victory versus there are 700. Now, this is really important because on some maps like um, Gilneas, the points gain is kind of awkward and it's, you know, sometimes hard to do the quick math in your head, like on the spot, right? So you need to see who's going to win, if you need to get more bases or not, if you have enough already, um, things like that. It's really, really important to know right away. You don't want to mess that up. I've seen tons of teams where they give up fighting because they have like three bases, but they really needed four because we were ahead by like 100 points or something. So don't be that team. And then... The last thing I want to talk about is called Reporter. So it's this map over here, okay? And this map basically is just shown all the time. Uh, it shows you where your team is. Uh, and a really important part of it is that it shows you the healer. So the healers are the ones with these boxes on them. And so from a really quick glance, you can kind of see where your healers are, where your team is, right? Which bases. Um, and I have this display on my screen permanently. So what I can do is I know if I were ghosting a base, I know if there's two people at a base, if there's single sitting when we have three. All this information is so important in deciding what you need to do. And for example, like you see that there's team fight uh, at gold mine, and there's only two people there, no healers, then you know as a healer, you gotta go there. And instead of like asking your team where they are or like clicking through your range to see where everyone is, just instantly you can see if there's healers and how many people are at each base and people, how far they are as well from coming to help you and stuff like that. All right, and there you have it. Those are all of the mandatory items that I would absolutely, absolutely have for every battleground. I would never play without them, both uh, in order to heal effectively and play battleground objectives correctly. Once again, as a reminder, all of the exports um, for my profiles and the links to add them themselves are going to be in the comments below. So check them out right now and, you know, go ahead and download them, get them set up. Feel free to reach out to me um, through Discord or in the comments here or, or uh, on Twitter. Um, if you have any problems setting anything up, um, I totally respond to everything and I'm going to help you get it uh, set up correctly if you need it. So I hope you learned something useful from this video. Um, once again, I highly recommend getting these. It, it makes such a big impact on play and, and I used to not play with all of these add-ons and each time I got one of these, it's, it's made a huge improvement on, on how well I do as a healer. Okay, great. Thanks so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.